Okay, YouTube. This is Dave. Travels with Dave. Uh, the good, the bad, and the schoolie. I'm working on my schoolie right now. I uh, just got off work. And I'm doing the typical bus seat removal here uh, with these bolts. Um, I just bought this. I've had this angle grinder and I've been using it. And I bought a new disc tonight at uh, the hardware store. And it was about $3.80. And they're pretty inexpensive. And, um... I didn't have a tool to um, get the angle grinder to loosen up so I could replace the disc, but they had one and it was about eight bucks. It cost more than the disc itself. But anyway, this disc is hardcore. I just cut with it and it's going to go faster now. Like, I think I can do, you know, a set of these two bolts like in five minutes or three minutes or so, and it cuts it down pretty quick. Um, back here. I'm towards the aft part of the bus here, the back part, and uh, here's a heater. This was under the seat, and it took some moxie to get behind there and get these bolts out of there, and I got that. And um, these, I'm not going to leave this heater in here. I don't think it it's going to serve its purpose. It looks pretty old, and as you can see, it's dirty as all heck, and they need to change the filter in it. But it's, it, uh what you do is I think you're probably just going to take these two hoses and just route them together. Um, I, I saw another uh, schoolie guy do that and he just, I think under somewhere he, he just routed them together, but I'm going to worry about that later. Anyway, I'm going to set this up to where I can grind and show how it's done. Um, it's pretty typical, um, on how to do this. Uh, I'm choosing to do it this way cause I don't have anybody to, be under the bus for me and and try to uh hold the bolt while i un do the ratchet up here and try to get it and vice grips ain't gonna cut it so the angle grinder is the way to go and um there was a learning curve but i'm getting used to it but i'm gonna try this out and see if i can get some video of it and be intuitive and try to help people and see how they do it um so maybe they can learn from me but uh, I'll point it this way. Hopefully the sparks won't be flying on it. But uh, this will be kind of animated, I guess. Or at least you'll have the effects of the light show from the sparks. This thing is heavy duty. I like this thing on grinder. I can hardly see because my, my um, glasses are fogging up. But here we go.
Okay, here's the moment of truth. Um, usually when you get it done down far enough, you can see the circle from the bolt. Um, and I'm talking about that little circle right there and there. And usually if you give it a one of those, there it goes. It comes right up and then I got it. So, uh, well, on here it says the video was about 6 minutes and 38 seconds, so that ain't too bad. I'm hot and my glasses are fogging up. But um, that's how you do it. And then I'm going to, you know, go right there and do this one and do this one. And then the bolts just ride in there. And you just, you have to have two sets of ratchets to get it out. But it's starting to go quick. This this one, in this case, has these up there. So I'm going to have to get those ones out. But anyway, um, that's the angle grinder 101 on taking the seats out. If you don't have anybody to unscrew. And logically if there's a bolt there you end up taking this rubber up and then the plywood that's under it and then you're down to bare metal um, you'll probably have to grind it down but then you won't have a hole there and you won't have to seal that because the bolt will be in there still and I've seen people have to fill it in with silicon but if you do it that way um, I don't think you'll have a hole there but anyway that's that's how you do the angle grinder with the removal of the seats here anyway i'm travels with dave um the good the bad and the schoolie i'm working on it this is about the third episode and uh if you're interested and you like what i got in the content uh please subscribe to my channel and uh if you have any questions or if you have any advice to give me or if you think i can do it a better way or easier way don't hesitate to let me know anyway signing off